Hey, good morning. How are you? It is Wednesday already. Can you believe it? And uh, Angela and I are here and we uh, we have not gone to sleep yet because we're still wearing the same clothes again. Just a bad habit of ours. Um, but nonetheless, we are here to share a good word with you today and a little prayer. And um, we're going to take a look this morning at 1 John 2.17. You want me to read it? Did you read last time? No, I think you did. Oh, okay. Okay. Angela's going to read this morning, 1 John 2.17. And the world with its lust is passing away, but the one who does God's will remains forever. All right, so again, we're thinking about God's will, and when we talk about God's will, it's what we already know from what he has given us through his word. All right, so we often talk about seeking God's will, and what is God's will for us, what does God want us to do, but for it's right here for us. So we understood yesterday when we read that when we, um, when we give thanks in all circumstances, when we rejoice and when we pray, that is us doing God's will. So think about it in terms of this scripture here right now. It says, and the world with its lust is passing away, but the one who does God's will remains forever. Now, so when we do those things, that God obeys us to do. When we follow him in everything we do, we grow in a deeper relationship with him. And as we grow in that relationship with him, we are going to remain with him forever. That's that eternal salvation that we receive when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. So when you're again thinking about, am I doing God's will? Ask yourself, are you praying? Are you giving thanks in all circumstances? Are you rejoicing because what God has done in your life? Are you recounting all the wonderful deeds that he has done in your life and your family's life? If so, then we continue to do those things and we continue to do them more and more and we grow in him and then we abide in him forever. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pray. We hope you pray with us. And you know, when we, we do this, when we do pray, just allow your heart to uh, just be one with God. So we'll just bow our heads and uh, we pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, again for your word and your truth. And Lord, we are so grateful that you have told us what your will is, Lord, and how we can do your will. And, and we pray, Lord, that for, uh, for us and for everyone that's listening, I pray, Lord, that we, Lord God, will rejoice, Lord God, in everything. We will um, pray, um, and we will give thanks in all circumstances so we can grow in you, Lord God, and so we can abide in you forever, Lord. We pray this in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Hey, listen, come on back tomorrow morning. It'll be Thursday, and uh, we might be wearing something different. So see if you can notice. <laughs>